Hey guys, and welcome back to Spyro. When we last left off, we had pretty much finished the Beast Makers, if memory had served. We've... Oh god, we just fried a fucking chicken. Lel. Um, now, we had Metalhead to take out. Uh, Terrace Village, Misty Borg, that's right. We did treetops, didn't we? Yes, yes, yes. I remember. Okay, cool, cool. So, what does that leave left? I can't remember what the final mission's called now. Or at least the final area. Uh, we're not going to... Oh, God. We've got the flight level, haven't we? Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I remember. I can't you remember what the flight level is. I think it's all the way around here. Treetops is hidden. What a horrid level. <laughs> what a level that is, man. Hidden away. You're like, oh. Finally find it. And you're like, oh, what... What delicious morsel has been hidden from me for all this time? Uh, and a cool, exciting, interesting level. And uh, you find it. And of course, it is nothing but pain. But hey, you know, we did it. We did it. That's all that matters. And I don't think we. we it was that hard either. But then. Ah. Terrace Village. Where is it? Oh, the flight level's underneath, isn't it? Yes, it's down in one of these, uh, one of these little well-type structures. Yep, I remember. I remember. Come on. Up. Uh, bugger. Is that over the other side? Might be over the other side. Look at that little bastard over there, just hiding. Biding his time until a little Spyro comes along and gets uh, fucked. Proper fucks. Right, I think that's the one we want. Alright, it is. Now, there was. Oh, there was a turkey jumping around here somewhere. At least I thought there was. Uh, no matter. Get the fuck out of here, Pumba. Right, well, I mean, it's a flight level, so. I guess. We don't really need to worry about sparks. Now, Wildflight, I don't think it's a terrible level. Uh, if memory serves, it's not up there with the hardest ones. That's for sure. Okay, what do we got? Ah, yes, yes. I remember this one. Oh, <laughs> well done, Spyro. You legend, said nobody ever. Yeah, this level is actually not too bad from what I can remember. It's a little fiddly. I'll concede that much. It's definitely a fiddly one, but it's not terrible. Um, as long as we're, you can probably hear the missus uh, shouting at the cats. The cats are getting rather naughty these days. Okay, that's all of those. Right, let's take the planes out. Yeah, you have to be as efficient as possible on this level. And I haven't done it for a little while. So i will try and remember where all the planes are. There's two left, I think. One, two. All right, cool. Now, we are going to lose time getting out of here, aren't we? Yeah. But that's okay. That's okay. We can lose time. We can lose time. As long as... As long as we don't fuck up anything too bad. Uh, I think we fucked it up too bad. Pretty confident we fucked it up too bad. But we shall push on. Nonetheless. Alright. There's one boat left. Hopefully we're going to bump into him. There we go. Alright. No, 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 no. We might pull this off. Yes, we did. <laughs> okay. Quite happy with that. Yeah, that one's nowhere near the hardest. In fact, I would wager and say that's probably the easiest one. Probably easier than um, the first one, actually, which I still struggle with sometimes. And you really think that, you know, you've been playing this game for 20 fucking years. You shouldn't really struggle with it. Um, but I do because I'm stupid. Okay, so now 
now we just have Metalhead. That wasn't the most efficient route either. It's not generally a route I take. I usually do the planes um, last. Yeah, because the way I generally run that is I go do the archers and the boats first. So, ah, huh, okay. Hey ho, fiddly dee. Now, let's have a little look on the guidebook. Have a look at the skills. Metalhead perfect. Um, Metalhead uh, is actually one of my favorite bosses. He's a pretty easy boss, to be honest with you. There he is. Um, but his level is quite big. I don't mind that. So the first thing we're going to do really in this level is kind of make a beeline to him and take him out as quick as we can. I think he's... I don't want to say he's harder in this mode because he's not really hard, but it is slightly more challenging in this mode. Uh, in this remake, I should say. Right. Let's go. Let's go. Yep. These guys suck. But luckily, we do get the gems when they die. I like that. Now, we're not allowed to get killed here or hit even once. These monkeys are annoying. We know these monkeys. We've had these monkeys before. Monkey see, monkey die. Alright, there we go. Lovely. Gems, gems, gems. Give me your gems. Alright, come on, monkey. He's got one little dude there. Yeah, the little monkeys throw bananas. Like magical bananas that don't actually fly very fast. Which is fine. Um, that was very lucky. I can't believe that. <laughs> that set of bananas didn't hit a square in the face. But, you know. Oof. 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 Duck and weave, Spyro. Duck and weave. Jesus. Jesus. That was intense. That was some hardcore dragon action right there. Alright. Uh, so, oh god, we got bananas flying over here, haven't we? Alright, there we go. Right in the sacks, Diddy Kong. What are we looking at? What have we got? We've got 500 gems. Yep. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of verticality to this level, which I quite like. Oof. Kiss my ass. Yes, Banana Boy around the corner there has caught me off guard more than once. I can tell you. He's a little bit of a penis man. Oof. All right, Banana Boy. Get fucked. Now, there's our dragon friend. And right. So. The rub with this level is we need to fly down there, I believe. I can't remember the best way to get through there either. Uh, yeah. I think you can just go down here, maybe. Yep. Yep, that'll do, Donkey. That'll do. Okay, so maybe we're going to leave Metalhead till last then. Hey, what, what, what do I know? Okay, don't ask me. Ask Spyro. He's, he's the man with the plan, obviously. He's the, he's the dragon doing all the work here. Okay. As you may think I'm playing this game, but uh, I can assure you the dragon's in charge. The dragon is always in charge. Uh, right. Yep. So what we got, that gives us 214. So most of the, the other gems are with the boss, obviously, but there is an awful lot of gems uh, hidden above the actual level itself. I can't remember how we get out of here. Sure, there we go. Yeah, this should take us up and above. If memory serves me correctly. Aye, laddie. Yep. This level was one that actually took me a long time um, to do as a kid. Because I never really noticed that down there that you could just drop down and float. That kind of seemed like suicide, really, when you think about it. But this game does that to you. Ah, oh, son of a bitch, man. Really? Alright. Once more we're feeling. 
And I'm pretty sure... Shit. Okay, well that's fucked up our perfect run. But then, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it just means that you have to get a perfect on Metalhead. I can't remember now. Or if you have to do the level in the in its entirety perfectly. I can't remember. But I, I mean, I guess we're going to find out. At least we can always just make a beeline to him anyway. Let's go grab up the turkey. Now, the way these skill points work, at least to me, they do seem pretty... Uh, ropey to say the least because um, where we had that level a while ago where we had to not get damaged by the metal we got damaged by the metal and we still got the um, got the skill point so is that the terrorist village I think yeah thanks boss you're a weird looking dragon pretty thick neck anyone ever told you that okay so metal head this guy I'm pretty sure, in the original, you could actually, you could actually, um, flame his, like, Telsa Towers. Not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure you could. Right, okay, cool. Ooh, right, you gotta be careful. You can really easily get caught off guard here. Oh, that can happen. Whoa. Um, where did the the big monkey come from anybody the big the big oh he throws enemies oh I've forgotten about that that's only if you get close right okay well I mean we're not gonna get a perfect here are we but hey it's all gravy baby we'll come back through in a minute and do it like I said this level really really isn't very challenging at all it's just uh, I'm making loads of Schoolboy errors because that's what we do around here, damn it. Right, okay. Looks like something Dr. Robotnik would use, doesn't it? Very Eggman esque. Oh, God. Okay. That was as close as it gets. Oop, 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 oop. Oh, really? 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 Ooh, just made it. Just made it. I like the way his little antenna comes out. That's quite funny. Well, we're definitely not getting the perfect. I don't think the game's going to be generous enough to give us that skill point. But let's go uh, harvest up all the gems through here. This is actually kind of an annoying jump. I believe I actually had to edit this down a little bit on my uh, PlayStation 1 video because this is a really nasty jump. Now you can come up here sometimes and there won't be many gems. That's because the, I believe anyway, the enemies that he throws at you are stashed up here and around that corner. So there might not be as many gems around there because you might have picked them up down there. That's one thing that used to make me think way back when. Man, I used to video games make made used to make me think a lot. That's probably why I don't like them. Didn't like them as a kid. Made me think. Uh, that's not true. Okay, yeah, so this is a really annoying, like, little area to jump over to. And I could never quite understand the rub with it. Ironically enough, when I was practicing <laughs> Oh, there we go. Ironically enough, I don't think it matters where you stand because I did it from over there when I was practicing this game like well over a month ago. Um, cool. Yeah, I think it's just more about the timing, but you do have to be pretty perfect with that jump and we need to go get the treasure chest which is up here. So, let us go get the treasure chest. I do love these levels as well. Oh, I wish there was a button. So, you could go back and see what the original assets look like. Halo's a great game for that. Now, we are missing gems. Ooh. I think, yes. Okay. We are missing gems. Oh, there's some there. That's a 10. Okay, we're missing... There's some more. Interesting. Missing 15 gems. 
Oh. Well, that's a kick in the knickers when that happens. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's not going to be easy, is it? I hope it hasn't bugged out and we haven't just, like, missed gems. It's only happened once, to be fair, but, you know, when it, when it happens once, it does kind of throw everything into doubt. I don't think it's up here either because, yeah, there's nowhere really for it to be here. God damn it. Spyro. Sparks. You're making me look foolish. Yes, I know. I always look stupid and foolish, but you're making it work. Oh, makes sense. There's the two. And one more. Bastard. Really? Shit. Okay, so we've got five gems somewhere. Uh, that's a ball lake. I don't think there's, any, there's nothing up there. Got to be tucked around in a little crevice somewhere. That's usually where they are. Unless it's glitched. Oh, wait, hang on. We did have a couple of bad guys fly out here, didn't we? Alright. But there's no gems down here. Bastards. Alright, this is awkward. This is really awkward. Because we've just explored the whole map. Uh, so, where else could they be? There's only one other place, realistically, they could be. And that's down there. But, we pretty sure... We harvested this place out pretty well. Oh, shit. I thought my controller felt weird. My thumb grip's worn off. Low. There we go. Alright. Um, right. Five gems. Where the hell could they be? Have you bugged out on me, game? Seriously? It may have, you know. It might have screwed the fucking pooch again. Really? I mean, there's only one place left to check. And that is... Uh, the rooftops, I suppose, but... I never had any bugs on the Switch version. Or on the PlayStation version. I played the PlayStation version a lot. So that's curious. Yeah, I mean, you're seeing what I'm seeing, guys. We've checked the whole level. There is no gems. Anywhere. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I guess the only thing to do, really, is to return home and... Do this one again. Well, I mean, we've got to do it again for the skill point anyway, but... Ah, uh, son of a bitch, man. I just find it hard to believe that this game's got this... Or this version of the game has so many bugs. There isn't, like, one gem that's gone through the wall somewhere, is there? No. Ah. Uh, yep, man. Well, that's fucking AIDS. Unless it's up here. But. It's like. There's nowhere for it to be, though. So, it can't be up there. Disappearing gems, man. In a Spyro game. Jesus. Nothing here. Absolutely not. And it's. Definitely not hidden on the outskirts here anywhere, either. I mean, there's always the possibility that somehow the gem has clipped through the floor, I guess. But... That's pretty... Pants, if that's actually the case. 
Yeah, I mean, there's no gems here, guys. There's nothing here. Um, it's not a case that we've missed it. It's not here, Chief. Uh, nothing there. Going up. It's the last place to check. Nothing over that side. Nothing. Alright. Yep. Okay. So, no. Um, it's, yeah, that's bugged out again. Definitely. Fucking hell, man. Ah, that's a kick in the sacks. Alright, well, I mean, I guess we've got to come out and do that level again anyway. But... Come on, man. Let's just, let's just get a bit pathetic. I mean, if you weren't as experienced with the game, uh, you might be running around that level for ages thinking there's some little secret outcove somewhere or some chest that you've missed or, or something. But, I mean, from my experience, from what I've seen in, um, well, the, the other bug we had, that's not the case. It's definitely, you're, you're not missing anything. You're not going crazy. The game's bugged. Ugh. All right, well, let's try it again. Let's go through this one without getting hurt this time. Okay. Come on. All right, you can get fucked. Any gems here? Now, last time... Yeah, that's right. It was a chest. There's a random chest that didn't spawn. It was right in the middle of, like, you know, <laughs> the map as well. You couldn't miss it. it there's, like, no way it was... Um, user error, should we say, or player error. Yes, that's right, because I, I just showed everyone where it was. It was, like, literally right in the middle. You know, it was... There we go, there's the gem that didn't spawn. Gems in the rough. Metalhead, collect 500. So it was, again, it, um, an enemy. Me, is that the second time we've had that bug now? An enemy actually didn't drop the gem. Thanks, game. Thanks, game. Alright, you're done. Okay, cool. We've almost got another life out of this anyway, so... You know, small mercies and all that. Right, there's two. Ooh. Come on. Oh, why do you do that? It only does that in this new version. Yeah, of course, you can get him to throw enemies at his own pylons, which is not a terrible way of, you know, winning, actually. It's a lot safer than actually charging them, I guess. There we go. Yeah, that actually works much better. For some reason, going into this, I thought that was a riskier maneuver, but, uh, <laughs> why did I think that? I don't know. I'm stupid. Come on. You know this. this. isn't a secret. I did forget that he could shoot his own pylons, though. There we go. Even with that weapon. Cool. Well, that's going to make things easier, I guess. Oof. Pathetic. Ooh. Almost singed my, my ass there. That would have been an unpleasant situation. Oof, oof. Not looking so good for you now, is it, buddy? Looks like you're losing a lot of these pylons. Jeez, I hope they're not important. Okay, one left. One left. You're done, son. You are done. Yay, and there's our skill point. Sweet. Okay, cool. Not bad. Not bad. Now, if we go up here, there should... Yeah, these are all the spare enemies up here. That he would have been lobbing at us. Probably not a bad level, actually, to grind out lives. If, you know, you'd be asked. But then you just grind out those blue butterflies. So, you know. Not worth it, actually. Are we actually up to date in our skill points? We are. 
Dream, Weaver's Secret Room. That's a sly little one, actually. I like that. Um, Burn the Blue Wizard Hat. Yes, yes. The Hidden Stump. Mm -hmm. Yep, perfect. Yeah, and then it's just getting perfect on the bosses. Hang on, did we not get perfect on the bosses? Okay, I think we've got perfect on all the bosses so far. Right, let's blow this joint. We are out of here. And we're going to head on to my favorite world. The Dreamweavers. Now, I believe, actually, in the original manual, there was a bit of fluff. And it did actually have a little bit uh, explaining what each of the worlds achieved in the Dragon Universe. Which I always thought was really cool. Magic crafters. Right, cool. I mean, might as well flame these guys. You never know. You might actually get a... A life out of it, I suppose. Right, anyway. Alright, all right, bud. Let's move on. Oh, I feel much better now that so many dragons have been rescued. Bless Don't your heart. Balloon, and I'll show you the Dreamweaver's world. Are you ready to go? You're one of the good ones. Let's go to the Dreamweaver's. My favorite world. This world is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. It really is. I can't believe one of the negatives for this um, version of the game was the long loading screens. I mean, they're not that long, are they? I mean, we're not talking about Anthem here. Now this, this is gorgeous. Apps, oh God, hello. Uh, <laughs> what? Is my Xbox dying? Kinda hoping my Xbox is not dying. That's bad. <laughs> uh, we have just entered the seizure zone, ladies and gentlemen. The seizure zone. I mean, it's only when we look over there. Is it glitching out if I go back home? No, we're good. What if we load the game back up? Glitching again. Well, uh, on that note, with the questionable condition of my Xbox, uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Um, maybe. <laughs> uh, I'm hoping the game's just bugged out. Although I've, I've never seen the game do this. If this is actually a bug and not my Xbox dying, Kind of hoping it's not my Xbox dying. The Xbox version is definitely the worst um, polished version of the game. Uh, that's definitely fair to say. I've encountered no bugs, no issues, nothing on the other platforms. And I have played them extensively. Uh, and I've played this version a little bit, and we've encountered missing gems, bugs, glitches, all sorts. How strange. Right, anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to reboot the Xbox and try and make another video.